What's going on? Got your boy, Quan Jizzy, Porsche Mistake. Say what up, what up? Hi. <laughs> Motivational motives back in full effect. You know, check it out. We're going to talk about a very interesting topic today. As always, we're going to talk about what are you going to do with your stimulus check? You know what I mean? Black yep. people. <laughs> what are you going to do with that money? With that enormous amount, that $600 amount. You know what I mean? Sorry. $600 bills. What is it? It comes up to 20 to the five, five. What is it? 30, 30 pieces of paper. If you got 20s, 30 pieces of paper. All right. What you going to do with your money, Portia? What you going to do with your money? First and foremost. I'm sorry. I don't know why I'm so giggly. <laughs> uh, like... <laughs> all, right, first of, all right. First and foremost, how do you feel about us only getting $600 as opposed to $2,000? I think that's why I'm laughing. Because <laughs> we're only getting 600 And it's just money? like, that's not, no, that's no money. Okay, I could see, here's the thing. Here's the irony of this. When the pandemic first happened, right, right everybody had just lost their jobs. For right. those of us who had a savings, we still had some. So when that right. first stimulus check came out, we were probably still dipping into our savings. We still had right. some. Right. We are, we are, over a year, no, I'm sorry, just about a year into the pandemic. 10 months, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 10 months, almost a year into the pandemic, a majority of our savings are gone. Right. Like, I don't know, we're tapped out. Right. And you mean to tell me, 10 months in, you give us less money than before? It, like, it doesn't make sense. That doesn't make any sense. And it's not funny. It's really not funny, but I don't know why it makes me laugh. Because it's just, it's not funny, yet it's comical. Like, what are but, we supposed to do with that? For Especially for those who don't have dependents. Like, I don't have any kids. What am right. I supposed to do with 600? I don't know. <laughs> buy, guy, buy a Gucci bag. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. You know, the sad <laughs> part is most what? of us are going to do that. That's what it is. And, and, and we, and, and we got we to gotta talk some talk about that. But okay. I want to touch on a few things. I seen something interesting today when I was scrolling social media, and they had a list of countries that have been getting monthly t stipends from their government. Mm -hmm. You understand? I don't. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I can't. I can't tell you verbatim what countries they were. They were, but I've seen. I see countries that are getting two thousand a month. Are you serious? I swear to you. You know what I mean? For real, it's crazy. But. Mm. It brings it, it bring us back the, to the essence and the question. First and foremost, we have to understand that the federal government does not care about black people specifically. I can't talk about Nova race because I'm only black. OK, how should I expect them to take care of me? Right. That's the first question. That's the first question. Question number two. What did I do with my first round of money? Like Ramon Mercy said from our stop shop. If you would have did something with your first round of money, this round of money wouldn't have been a problem. But you know what? We can only speak from our personal situation. You know what I'm right. saying? Uh -huh. There's some people that actually need that money. Uh -huh. You understand? Like, for real, for real. All right. But check it. And then my other question is, now, I'm not answering none of my questions. I'm just posing them. My okay. other question is, if I really do need that money, I better feel, I think I should feel a little grateful for that 600, even though it ain't no money. Right. Because if I don't got nothing in the bank, you know, yeah, but six, that 600 might have to go to, what can it really do? It mm. really can't do nothing, but it, it's, it's kind of, it depends on your situation. You know what I mean? I will be getting a, a, a refund myself. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Me along with my wife and, and our kids. And, um, we're not in a specific situation where we actually need that money. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So that money is basically um, probably going vacation with it. <laughs> right. <laughs> because that's nothing. We, we really don't need, need, need the money. You know what I mean? For right. real. But it's like, if you do need that money, let's say you are a single mother with three kids. All right. That means you're going to get what? You're going to get $2,400. Yeah. It's four people. You know what I'm saying? I mean, what do you do? What do you do? Let's say, let's say your rent is twelve hundred. Light bill two hundred. Con cable, one hundred fifty. Phone bill, 
150. Mm. Woo! That's like you just put, put a dent in that 2400. You know what I'm saying? But you know what this pandemic proved? What? That we all, specifically black people, should what? have had financial teaching, financial education. Literacy. That's what definitely. Yeah, okay, sorry. Definitely. Financial literacy. Absolutely. That's what it proved because Absolutely. you know, we're kind of for those of us who we you know aren't considered wealthy or well to do, right. you right. know, you're kind of just living paycheck to paycheck. You're just doing right. the best you can. You're getting by, right. you splurge when you can splurge, but you you handle your needs, right? right? And you do whatever to make you happy. You're getting right. by. The pandemic hit, you lose your job, prices skyrocket on everything. Then right. you're like, what do I do now? So now you get this money and without that financial literacy, you're not going to do the right thing with it. Absolutely not. You're but some might say, what well, could you do with 600 anyway? I, well, it, see, it, see, it's like it's, it's a slippery slope. slope. The, the 600, no doubt, that's no money. OK. Mm -hmm. In the year 2021. OK. However, if I had my stuff together before Getting this six hundred, mm -hmm. I could do something with the six hundred. You know what I mean? I, 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 I could buy, I, I could buy, I could, I could buy three Disney stocks, which is one hundred and eighty dollars. If I really don't need the money, I could really take that six hundred. Say, you know what? I'm gonna buy, and and that's a win. <laughs> if you buy mm -hmm. three Disney stocks, that's a win. No doubt. I'm not gonna say you're gonna be able to, you know, leave your kids money, but that can be a very good start to your stock portfolio. Buying mm -hmm. those three Disney stocks, that's a win. Right. Period. You know what I mean? If you don't need the money like that. Yeah, that's this that, if you're already okay. But if you don't need the money like that, what do you do? You probably what do you not do even six hundred. Right. If you don't but if you don't need the money like that, you probably not even getting the six hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. If you don't need the money like that, you probably not even getting the six hundred dollars because there's a threshold. It's okay, not like yeah. you're all getting it. Right, 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 right. You know what I'm saying? What they, they said if you're a single person, which you got to be making less than what 85,000, 75,000 a year, you know? What? No, I didn't know that. Yeah, there's a threshold to that. And for couples, you got to be making less than 170 collectively. Oh. For couples, you got to be making you, you would have, have to make less than one, 170,000 last year, straight up to get it. If you make above that, you don't get that. Well, if you make, if you make above that, it, it start you get it on a scale. Like for every okay, right, hundred you make, they take money away from it. Right. You know what I'm saying? And I think if you make over one hundred ninety nine thousand, you don't get it at all. Mm. You shouldn't get it. Yeah. If you make it two hundred grand. <laughs> if you make two hundred thousand uh -huh. dollars and you are broke, you probably one smoking <laughs> smoking crack. <laughs> you probably one smoke and crack. <laughs> Two have have a gambling addiction. Something's wrong. <laughs> three Donald you Trump. Crazy <laughs> frivolous. <laughs> you, or you're you Donald the, Trump. You got the Gucci that, shoes on. <laughs> wait now. Gucci, huh? Or you're, or you're Donald Trump. Remember, Rama said she was like, "How is it that that dude went bankrupt six times?" Yo, I mean, because he know the system. He's a part of the system. He is the system. When you're when you're a white male, you create you white you are, you are a creator of the system. Your daddy has passed that legacy down to you. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? That's what they inherit. You know what I'm saying? And I've, I've you know I've heard this. You know, it's kind of crazy. I've heard comedians and and other people, political people, talk about this question. They ask how. Are you struggling as a white man? One, addiction. You have some addiction. Or two, you did what John Brown did. John Brown was the one of the most infamous abolitionists of the 1800s. Um, mm. He went against the grain of the white people and freed black people. You understand? That's the only way you can really be a white man and be broke. You understand? Yeah. You have an addiction. Or, no, or... or or, or you, or, your family didn't set you up. But hold up, why weren't they set up? This is the thing about it. White people inherit land mm. and resources. 
They own 99% of everything in America that's, that, that, that has worth. Why okay. was that specific family? See, so let's now let's check it out. So therefore, it was hereditary for them not to be set up. Why? Why would, no, 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 no. See, I'm not buying the, oh, they were just one of the white people that wasn't set up. No, why weren't they set up? It, something happened along, along the line. Addiction messed it up, or two, they were not one of the racist white people mm. that weren't set up on purpose. Because if they follow the status quo of their heritage, mm. they're straight now, period. Mm. Period. So I'm not buying the, oh, you know, I'm one of the good white people that, no, 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 no. Why, why aren't you straight? Something went wrong. Mm -hmm. You might not even know what went wrong. That's what I'm saying. You yeah, might it might have know. happened generations ago. This could have happened with your great, 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 great granddaddy that was actually, you know, cool with black people. And they said, we're cutting this dude off. And that messed up the whole generation after that. Mm. Period. Like, for, how aren't you straight? You inherited 99% of anything of worth in America. But you, you know what I mean? Don't get me wrong. Some white people, they don't know their heritage either, just like we don't. Mm -hmm. They just know they come from money. They just know, all right, we got money, done, cool. And the ones that are broke, they're like, all right, you know, I don't, I mean, you know, you got to look into these things. Like, why? Like, where did this, what, what, how, somebody down, somebody in, in, because first and foremost, Somebody in their family came from another country. We know that, all right? Because we are all immigrants. Can we agree on that? Yes. <laughs> Every last person in America is an immigrant, all right? So uh, somebody in Unless America, you're indigenous, like Native American. Native American, right. Unless you're... Mm -hmm. Absolutely. You know what I mean? We are all immigrants. So somebody from another country where it was, where, where it was Europe, or somewhere in Europe, because a lot of Europeans, you know, they, they, let's talk about the Europeans. They came here and they came here and got busy. Yeah. They came in and were, were, were given resources. They came in and were, were given land. Only thing they had to abide by is hating black people. And, and, and they said, oh, okay, cool. This is what we do. They're, they're the currency? Mm. So I have to just treat them like garbage? I have to uh, uh, rape their women? That's it? I get some buns out of it too? And money? Oh cool. my God. Truth. True. I'm not being facetious at all. Now I mean, so how did that mess up? Where did you, like I said, what messed it up? Addiction or somebody in, in that heritage didn't, you know, they 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 were cool with black people, like John Brown. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Mm -hmm. And the, for the viewers that's, that listen to this, research John Brown. He was the probably one of the most infamous abolitionists. You don't hear about John Brown in school, do you? At no, all. Not in he school. Was, right. He was pro-black. His whole family was his mother, father, all of his kids. He's actually him and his five sons are the reason why Kansas became a free state. Mm. Period. He and his five sons in around the year 1857, around there. Okay. This is the reason, the reasoning behind Kansas becoming a free state. They don't talk about John Brown at all. Why? Because John was for us. Mm. You know what I mean? So therefore. John Brown, whoever falls under John Brown's heritage, I, 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 unless they, you know, partook in, in the status quo of white America, and if they took on John Brown's DNA, they, you might as well say they black. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> because you know what I mean? They, they, you know, they're going to they, they gonna reap the benefits of, you know, his infamy. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. But, or lack thereof. Or lack of, lack of. So the stimulus check, yo, I really care. I really don't got no words on it because like you said something in, 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 um, in the talk we had early on, you was like, yo, ain't no stimulus check in Nigeria. Remember that? Yeah, there's not. So how do we think, think about this as Americans? If you want to say you're American, <laughs> you know what I mean? A person want to say, that, yeah, I'm American, whatever, whatever that means. Yeah. Um, how do we feel like, yo, there's some countries that's not getting nothing. I mean, like, yeah, there is, there is that. Like, like you, you always talk about everything is a matter of perspective. It is just a matter of how you look at it. Because right. yes, in Nigeria, there is no such thing as a stimulus check. They were even hoarding the the food companies out there donated food to the people, and the local government hoarded that. They right. kept it in a warehouse. Then when the citizens found it, 
and they went to rummage that warehouse a lot of them were shot and killed right. mm. so like you look at something that extreme compared to what we have in america and it's like yeah americans we complain but it's really not that bad right in comparison it's really not that bad however right. you cannot tell somebody who has been born and raised in America and they're dealing with the system and the system beating them down and they're not making any progress in life, it's still bad for them. You know, you can't tell that person, oh, it's not that bad because look at what's happening in Nigeria. No, it's still bad for that person. It doesn't matter. The person right. is unhappy. They are, they're, they're maybe feeling unfulfilled or, you know, unsatisfied or whatever. They're not achieving what they feel like they want to right. achieve or what they potentially could achieve. But like the six hundred dollar stimulus check is still kind of a joke to me. It is, it is. because it it, is. not only did not only is it uh, a small amount of money, but it took so long for them to decide to give us just six hundred. How did like, they even come up with that decision, number? Huh? How did they even come up with that number? Where did that number come from? I don't know. And that's, you know what? I'm not. Go ahead. Yeah. yeah. People, we make this comparison all the time, but you really don't know what's going on in their life. But everybody always looks at Jeff Bezos, right? They right. said that guy has enough money to do what? To, to he can make give everybody every, every American citizen a millionaire. Or is it multi-millionaire? And he'd be straight. And he would still be okay. Right. You, but that, I mean, that is, that is his net worth, right? We're talking right. about that. Right. That figure is his net worth. Right. So I'm not saying that that's what he should do. But you just look at the amount of wealth that comes out of the U.S. And then look at the amount of wealth that is being spread in it, like among the regular citizens, the regular folk, regular people. And it's like, you mean to tell me you really could own the U.S. really could only afford six hundred dollars per person? Come on. Maybe they the could... U.S. government. You know how much debt we're in? <laughs> they they giving a billion dollars to the Smithsonian and they're closed. <laughs> like I said, capitalism. I'm going to define capitalism. This is what capitalism is. Capitalism is I make money off your blood, your sweat, your tears. Period. Mm -hmm. That's what capitalism is. Yeah. That's, period. And there, it, it has its benefits and it has its shortcomings like everything. Capitalism is good because, you know, you can really come to this country or be raised in this country, dirt poor, and become a multimillionaire. Ask all the ask all the NBA players and NFL players that are black. Mm. Okay, is that a good thing? I don't know. Can't say it's good or bad. You know what I mean? Mm. But cap. But on the other end, <laughs> capitalism also states if you don't play the game, you will get the short end of the stick. Mm. Okay, you'll be left out. Straight up and down. I mean, and that's where the socialists come in at, you know. Socialists really believe that, that you know, big business and all of that, they don't believe it. If you are a business owner of any sort, socialists, if we have a socialist president, he's going to tax you crazy. You don't want Bernie Sanders in office if you have any type of business. <laughs> Period. You don't want him. And and a lot of people don't understand. That's the thing about it. A lot of people don't even do their do their history. Because I mean, and do the knowledge. I, I didn't at one point in time. When, until I really started looking into who these people were. Until I started understanding my own agenda. You know what I mean? If you have a business of any sort, Bernie's not your guy. Okay? Mm -hmm. Trump is probably your guy. Because you want to know something? The stock market did very well <laughs> under Trump. Do I like yeah. the guy? No, of course not. But did I make money under his presidency? Yes, I did. Right. What do you do? Right. <laughs> yes. To be real, with, honestly, I mean, my thing is personally, like I said, I voted for Joe Biden. You know what I mean? Don't get me wrong. I just looked. <laughs> I just listened to this new song by this guy named Uncle Murder. He's from Harlem. It's called. It's called. Um. He always does end end beginning of the year end of the end of the year reviews of the whole year. And, mm. and, he, and he talks about the, you know, it's dope. It's a, it's a dope song. I, and he talked about Joe Biden. He was like, yo, Joe, you know we only voted for you because of Kamala Harris. <laughs> right? That's real. Period. Yo, have you, seen, have you seen that new, I mean, this is just a little off topic, but that Netflix uh, comedy movie, it's not really a movie. It's like, a, it's a mock you, uh, a mocking, 
a documentary, but right. it's not a, it's not a real one. A documentary. Know. Is a it is it really called that, or did I just make that up? Just made that up. <laughs> it's a, 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 no, a I think it is a mockumentary. Yeah, whatever. Heard that. Yeah. It's called Death to 2020. Y'all need to see that. You need to watch. So that. Netflix. It's on Netflix. Yes. I'm gonna check it out. Death to 2020 with Samuel Jackson, Leslie Jones, Hugh Grant. Right. What's his face from Stranger Things? I don't know his real name. Right. Yeah, just watch that because it it sums up 2020 in such a beautifully hilarious way. Right. Like every aspect, every aspect of everything that went wrong in 2020 was amazing. But like I say that because it took it took the whole political circus that went down in 2020 and it put it in a beautiful bow. It wrapped it up real nice for everybody, just so you could see. And it was like, you know, I know conservatives will watch it and say, oh man, this is very biased. You know, this is from the viewpoint of maybe liberals or Democrats or whatever. But it, I don't, I don't believe that it is. I just believe it is very realistic. And so it kind of just talks, I'm sorry, you, you just gotta watch it. You have I'm gonna to check it out. Me, me, and, me and wife, you're gonna check that out tonight. You know what I mean? And it's funny. It, and it's funny. It's very funny. But like it kind of just sums up the whole idea of this stimulus check business. Think about it. Why would somebody me me and my wife, we have two children, right? So that's twenty four hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. Why would I get the same amount of money of a single mother that has three children? We're gonna get the same amount of money. Think about that. Think about put it, put it in that perspective. Me and my wife, we're okay. You know what I'm saying? You know, mm -hmm. we're not wealthy and we're not broke. You understand? Mm -hmm. So why would we get the same amount of money of a woman that's, I don't know. Let's say she had a, a, a little part-time job or something. Oh, no, no, no. You know what? Let's say she had, she had a job that she was laid off at. I'm, let's say she was a, a barmaid or something. And she's laid off now because all the restaurants are, 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 are shut down for, you know, inside restauranting. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Mm -hmm. That let's say, and, and, she, and she got and she got three kids. No man, I don't care where he at. He in jail, or he ain't even there, or maybe he do take care of the kids. But she fired all three of the kids. She's mm -hmm. gonna get twenty four hundred dollars as I. That that's crazy. Right. She's no. She should get double at least. She should get at least five thousand dollars. But is there payment in place for those who are unemployed? Like, I know right now people applied for unemployment when the pandemic first hit and then it's over now. They they ran that out. That's done. They used you it You had up. to file your tax. To get the stimulus, you had to file taxes. Period. Mm -hmm. If you file taxes last year, you will get, you're going to get a stimulus. And if you meet that, the, uh, if you fall into the threshold, you got to file. If you did not file taxes, no, you're not getting it. So, okay. So now let's get back to the original question. What? What do you do with your $600? When you get the money. Yeah. It depends. Like you said, for somebody who's well off, the best thing to probably do is invest it because you don't need right. it, but you right. can make money off that money. I would say that. Right? I would say invest it. Invest it. Okay. If you don't need it. If you don't I, need I it, invest it. $600. I would say definitely cop some stock with it. And if you need I, it? And if you need it, you really can't do nothing with it. <coughs> what you going to do? I mean, I mean, the pet. I'll tell you like this. In my house, my Con Edison bill for a month be like four hundred. Mm. What do you do? My Con Edison, my Con Edison bill is four hundred dollars. <coughs> Straight them and down. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Um, a one bedroom in New York, you ain't getting nothing less than fifteen hundred. Right. And that's gonna be in a crappy neighborhood. Mm -hmm. Okay. What do you do with 600? I mean, what do you do with it? I, I, if you if you need it, <clears throat> if you need it, if you need it, let's break it down. If you do need it, that means you you probably have children, right? That means you're going to get more than 600. Mm -hmm. But what if you don't? Well, no, not everybody who's going to need it has children. Okay, so then that so hold up, that begs the question. Are you living on your own? Or are you living with someone? That's what I'm saying. That, make, that makes me ask that question. Okay, okay, if that's the case, are you living on your own or are you living with someone? You know what I'm saying? If you if it's like that, 
somebody taking care of you, some shape, form, and fashion. Somebody holding you down. Right. Somebody got to be holding you down. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Now, I know, because I know, I, like I said, I got I, I have a personal, not even, I'm going to say a personal relationship because I don't want to be affiliated with those bums. I know a lot of people that um, <laughs> they're not getting it. Why? <laughs> One, they don't deserve it because they haven't put any money into the system. You understand? They don't, right. they don't, you know, and um, if they did get it, they wouldn't do nothing with it because they don't have any type of um, cognitive ability to really sit down and say, okay, what I'm going to do with this $600? You know what I'm saying? And it's sad because you know what? Check it out. I'm going to bring up an interesting point. It, it just crossed my mind. It's crazy how they, 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 they paved the way for the kids to be in messed up schools and people, you know, to have, you know, petty jobs or people having to go to college to, um, you know, get a degree, which is going to have astronomical loans. Mm-hmm. And then they expect them to do do well with, with, with resources and money that they're given. Right. You wow. know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's crazy. Like, I got, I'm going to say it again. Chris Rock said it. America... I'm quoting Chris Rock. America is like the uncle that molested you but pays your college tuition. Mm 